Hey guys, I'm back again with another pickups video and this time I haven't just got games, I've also got a ton of vinyls. Uh, first off, I need to apologize for any graininess in the video quality. I'm just using uh, indoor light, like artificial light, because let's face it, winter is coming and it's getting harder and harder to have good access to strong natural light. But yeah, I'm just going to start off here with something new by the Beatles, 12 inch. Uh, you can see some songs in it here, Things We Said Today, Any Time At All, When I Get Home, Slow Down, Matchbox, uh, I, I can't pronounce this, uh, I'll Cry Instead, Tell Me Why, and I Love Her, I'm Happy To Dance With You, and If I Feel, uh, I, th I think I only know Any Time At All in Matchbox, Beatles just had so many songs, I, it's impossible for uh, someone to know them all. Unless you like lived in that time and were a Beatles fan. Next I've got Krista Berg, Far Beyond the Castle Walls. Honestly, this name sounds familiar, but uh, let me just see a few tracks. This is the first time I'm going through them now. I haven't catalogued them yet. It's got uh, Hold On, The Key, Windy Night, Sin City, New Moon, Watching the World, Lonesome Cowboys, Satin Green Shutters, Turning Round, and Good Night. Uh, I don't know any of these songs. You can tell I haven't bought these. I found these in um, my grandmother's storage. So yeah. Uh, next we've got Barbara Streisand, Memories. Like the corners of my mind. So yeah, we've got Memory, You Don't Bring Me Flowers, My Heart Belongs to Me, New York State of Mind, No More Tears, Coming In and Out of Your Life, Evergreen, in, lost Inside of You, Love Inside, and The Way We Were. And I can't believe I actually know more Barbara Streisand songs than Chris DeBerg, for example. Ugh. This is the original motion picture soundtrack from Endless Love. And <laughs> I like what they do here. Endless Love just continues endlessly with the last letter of love being the first letter of Endless. Nice visual pun there. So yeah, I have no idea what's in this. I can tell I'm gonna hate it. Got endless love, dreaming of you. I was made, I was made for loving you. I love this. Wow, this is actually a very pleasant surprise, and I, I would have caught my surprised face on camera, but you got my surprised tone of voice because I expected to hate this thing. But it's got one of my favorite songs of all time on this, so that's awesome. We've got dreaming, endless love theme, uh, endless love reprise. David at the institution, and sees David and Jade making love. I guess this is like instrumental. Yeah, this is our instrumental stuff based on scenes in the movie. Okay, whatever. But it's called I Was Made For Loving You by Kiss, which is one of my favorite bands of all time, one of my favorite songs of all time. So I am super stoked for having this. At least you've got Love Story. Love means never having to say you're sorry. Oh my god, this is where that horrible quote came from in the first place. Let's see what's in this. Uh, we've got theme from Love Story, Snow Frolic, Mozart Sonata in F Major, nice. I Love You Phil, Christmas Trees, Search for Jenny, Bodso Barrett, Skating in Central Park, The Long Walk Home. And then we've got Bach. Concerto 3 in D major. And another theme from Love Story, whatever. This is kind of, eh, whatever. Elvis, Golden Records. It's got Now or Never, Stuck on You, Fame and Fortune, I Gotta Know, Surrender, I Feel So Bad, Are You Lonesome Tonight, Mary's a Name, His Latest Flame, Little Sister, Good Luck Charm, Anything That's Part of You, and She's Not You. Well, so far so good, with the, with the exception of Love Story. Got Grease. Uh, should have everything from Grease in it. But Grease, Summer Nights, Hopefully you Devoted to You. You're the one that I want. Sandy, Beautiful School Dropout. Look at me, I'm Sandra D. Grease Lightning. Love that song. It's raining on prom night. Alone at the drive-in movie. Blue Moon. Rock and Roll is here to stay. Those magic changes. Uh, I don't think you can see this. I'm just going to. Those magic changes. Hound Dog. Born to hand drive, tears on my pillow, mooning, Freddie my love, rock and roll party queen, there are worse things I could do, look at me, I'm Sandra D, we go together, love is a many splendored thing, and Grease reprise. 
So again, like two songs in this I like, whatever. Oh, this I, uh, well, if I started doing pickup videos a month earlier, then this would have been in those pickup videos. I got this really recently, Saturday Night Fever. I think this, this looks in better condition than the disc I already have. I'm just going to take it out on camera. Is this better condition? This looks pretty okay. I can't see any, uh, I can see like one scratch. You can probably see it on camera. But apart from that, this looks pretty okay. So I don't know which of the two I'm going to keep. Maybe I'm going to keep this one because of any sentimental value. Because it's like a family thing. But I also might keep the other one because it's a thrift shop find and I'm happy to have found that. I I'm going to see. Next we have Dino, Italian love songs. Just say I love her, Arrivederci Roma, my heart reminds me, you're breaking my heart. I don't think there's an Italian accent, this is the closest thing I can muster. Whatever, I'm just kidding. Non dimenticar, return to me, vieni su. Vieni has come back, right? Uh, I know venir in French, anyway. On an evening in Roma, pardon, take me in your arms. I have but one heart and there's no tomorrow. I don't know any of these, I don't know this guy. Whatever. Super hits. When will I be loved? Go all the way. Last song, country boy, rock me gently. Overnight sensation. Whoa. Just knocked the camera over there. They've got overnight sensation, wildflower, rock me on the water. You know what? I'm just going to redo this part. Next, you've got super hits. Uh, okay, that's just the title. And it's got When Will I Be Loved? Go All The Way, Last Song, Country Boy, Rock Me Gently, Overnight Sensation, Wildflower, Rock Me On The Water, and Fresh Air. I don't know any of these. Another Elvis Presley album, Collection Volume 2, oh god, so many songs. Old Sheep, Easy Come, Easy Go, Come On Everybody, What Now, What Next, Swear To, Long Legged Girl, A Little Less Conversation, I Slipped, I Stumbled, I Fell, I'll Be There, Tonight Is So Right For Love, I Love Only One Girl, Whistling Tune, Santa Lucia, Guad Guadalajara, I, I, I'm guessing I'm pronouncing this right, I really don't know, Guadalajara, Follow That Dream, Separate Ways, Sentimental Me, In My Way, I Met Her Today, Always On My Mind, Forget Me, Never, It's So Strange, and Angel. Again, I only know like two songs from this, but still, Elvis is pretty cool, so I'm guessing I'm going to grow to love many more of these, because th that's the benefit of records, because you, if you're not very precise with the needle, then you're going to have to hear the whole record anyway, and you're going to listen to so many songs you don't know, and you're going to grow to love. So that's cool. So you have Stanley Clark, I want to play for you. I don't know who this guy is, but I think he's like the guy who originally invented swag or something. Look at this guy. He's just got swag emanating from every pore. Let's see, uh... All About, Rock and Roll, Jelly, My Greatest Hits, Jamaican Boy, Christopher Ivanhoe, School Days, Quiet Afternoon, Strange Weather, I Want to Play For You, Just a Feeling, Streets of Philadelphia, Tonight Again, Blues for the Mingus, Off the Plant, and Hot Fun Closing. Streets of Philadelphia sounds familiar, but I really can't recognize this artist. Look at him, like, no shame, just puffing his cigar there. This afro. Whatever. Uh, Brotherhood of Man by Images. Oh god, these guys look like hippies. Please don't tell me they were hippies. Well, Angelo Images, Safety First, Two Can Leave as a Cheap Babe. You can say that again, Lullaby. Highwayman Star All Night, Sparky, Tonight's Tonight, and The Night of My Life. I don't think I know any of those. And maybe it's a good thing, because they... I mean, look at these people. They look like hippies. Ah. Uh, anyway, we have Voulez Vous by ABBA. Okay, these guys I know. <laughs> There's like a coaster mark on here, so I must have left their drink way back when. As good as new, Voulez Vous, I Have a Dream, Angel Eyes, King's Lost His Crown, Does Your Mother Know, If It Wasn't For The Nights, Chiquita, Lovers, and Kisses On Fire. Okay, interesting. Tom Jones, Live at Caesar's Palace. Uh, Dance of Love, Cabaret, Soul Man, I Who Have Nothing, Delilah, okay, I know that one, Bridge Over Troubled Water, I know that one, My Way, and God Bless the Children, 
There are, oh, there's more. Uh, introduction of members to the orchestra, resurrection shuffle, she's a lady. Again, I know that one. Till, hit medley, I'll never fall in love again. Daughter of darkness, love me tonight, it's not unusual. Again, I know that one, I think. High heel sneakers, rock and roll medley. Johnny Be Good, yes, 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 yes. I love this song. Uh, I must admit, I didn't know it before I watched the Back to the Future movies, but still, it's an awesome song. Uh, Boney Moroni and Long Tall Sally. Okay, so this is another interesting record. And Kenny Rogers, yes, I love this guy. Look at him, he is so, he's just so awesome. Uh, anyway, fanboying there for a bit. We've got tonight Scarlet Fever, Farther I Go, No Dreams, Bad Enough, All My Life, How Long, Love, 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 What I Learned From Loving You, and You Are So Beautiful. Okay, so I like side one of the thing at least. That's good. And I've got a Kenny Rogers album now, so that's kind of awesome as well. Okay, this one's the wrong way around. This is Encore Golden Hits of the Platters. I don't know these guys. Got Great Pretender, Twilight Time, Smoke Gets You in the Eyes, Magic Touch, Enchanted, One in a Million, I'm Sorry, Heaven and Earth, My Dream, Remember When, Only You, and My Prayer. Okay. If any of you know these guys and know their songs, tell me if this is worth listening to. Michael Jackson Thriller. Uh, this is the second copy I have of this. Again, I'm going to check the condition on camera here. And... Uh, I think it's in worse condition than the... Than the copy I already have. So this I'm probably going to trade or sell off. Let's put this back in here. Next we've got MCA Disco. Eh. Well, Disco is not dead clearly because I've got a record here. Uh, good, good feeling. And on the other side we've got Galaxy. Again, I don't know these. I'm probably going to listen to it, because Disco is never going to die, ever. I'm not going to allow it. Have Genesis, yes! Love this band, love this band. This is the second Genesis album I got right now. I'm just going to move this away from the flare thing, so you can get a good look at the awesome cover art. Seriously, this is like so badass. They have awesome directors or photography or whatever. Anyway. Songs on this are, it doesn't say, but I'm probably going to know at least half of them, and I'm going to love all of them. And we've got, what's this? Summer. Okay. What songs are on here? I, I don't know these guys. Do they look familiar to any of you? Uh, we've got Radio Land, Dynamite, Wishes, Hot Night, No Time to Stop, Run Cindy Run, It Ain't Up to Me, You Excite Me, and more beer. We're really gonna like this song. So that's it for my vinyls. I'm gonna cut to games now. Okay, so here I have my first batch of games for this month. I'm gonna go by system. Most of these I got in a trade. I, all back the last of these. No. Uh, these I got from a guy in my school. Yeah, they are Space Invaders Evolution, Pac Man World 3, 300 March to Glory and Resistance Retribution. I've yet to try any of them, but the discs and manuals are in good condition. They're like never used. Uh, I got these from a guy in my school who saw my channel and uh, didn't need these, so he sold them to me at a very good price. So thanks for that, mate. Next, these I got in a trade, except the last one. I gave some comic books uh, to a girl in my school and she gave me uh, all her good condition video games. Got here Call of Duty Black Ops. I've played this before, this is my cousin's favorite Call of Duty game, but it's my least favorite. I much prefer Black Ops 2, but hey, uh, I got this for a really good deal, so I'm not complaining. Then on the PS2, we have TAC 2, Staff of Dreams, a good platformer, Superman Returns. Uh, I have no idea how much this game sucks, but Superman games tend to be awful, and published by EA doesn't really tend to be a good sign. Well, okay, they were pretty okay during the PS2 era, but still, I don't really have high hopes for this. Naruto Ultimate Ninja. This is, I believe, a fighting game. Yeah, it looks like a fighting game. I never wa really watched Naruto. I only read, like, one manga ever. I watched Little Karibos, a bridge series, though, so that's some knowledge. Uh, there's uh, Naruto, Sasuke, 
Sakura, David Bowie, yeah, that's everyone I know. Scooby-Doo Unmasked. Uh, I have no idea what this is. It's a Scooby-Doo game. Explore a haunted mansion, spooky amusement parks, and more. Okay. This looks weird. Featuring the voice of Adam West. Okay. This just became awesome. I'm going to give this a shot at some point. Next, a friend of mine says this is a total hidden gem. This is Tarzan Freeride. It's... It looks like some sort of... Game where you just run around the jungle sliding and surfing and stuff. There's story, story mode and Turk's challenge mode, which is tracks, which unlocks bonus tracks and moves. I'm gonna give this a shot because uh, the guy is a pretty credible source for hidden gems. So, yeah, Tarzan the Freeride. This is the last of the games I'm gonna trade. This I bought off eBay at an excellent price. I got this for five bucks. Klonoa 2 Lunatea's Veil, vale, the sequel to the PS1 hidden gem, this is a platformer by Namco. I, I played Door to Phantom Isle, the PS1 game, when I was a little kid, and I absolutely loved this. And I remember playing the PS2 demo for uh, Klonoa 2 and thinking it was also awesome, but it goes for like 20 something euros on eBay usually. So finding this for 5 bucks was a really good deal, even though the manual is unfortunately not included. The disc and the case are in really good condition, and I am totally going to be playing this soon. This next slot, I also got from trades, from the same person as the comic books, Spyro 2 Gateway to Glimmer Platinum. This I'm not keeping, I'm going to trade off, all, all three of these I'm going to trade off. Uh, so yeah, this is a loose platinum disc of Spyro 2, which by the way is my favorite Spyro game. I must have completed it like three times as a kid. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which is the first Grand Theft Auto game I've ever played. This is a Platinum, so again, I'm going to trade this off. And Gran Turismo 2, Real Driving Simulator. This is a Japanese copy of the game. I got this in a trade at uh, the Gaming Bazaar the other day, on the uh, 17th. Speaking of the Gaming Bazaar, I think I'm just going to cut to some uh, footage of that, and then I am going to show you all my amazing finds from that bazaar. This took place right outside Gamers Boulevard and uh, it was the first time we had such an event in Cyprus. Uh, an event by collectors, for collectors, by gamers, for gamers. Uh, basically people could uh, pay to have stands there and uh, bring some of their collection to either show off, buy, trade, sell. Uh, a lot of it was actually pretty successful, cause, uh, especially taking into consideration our fairly small gaming community. But it was it was pretty good. I'm, I'm just gonna cut to the footage now so you can see for yourselves. Okay, so this is stand of one of the collectors here, and your name is? Andreas. How long have you been collecting for? Since I was five years old. And why are you selling this stuff? Do you have like multiples of it, or is it lost value to you? Very philosophical. Yeah. So here we have one of the first retro sales of the day. Yeah. Collector Theo here is selling his Zeldas. <laughs> and how does a happy collector feel for getting these gems? Real good, real good. Mm. Awesome. Enjoy. I'm here with Theo. He is a big collector. All of these things are in his stand. <laughs> and just look at this. This is Rad Racer for the NES. Sealed and absolutely mint. <laughs> Hi bikers! <laughs> Rare in a game convention. <laughs> Anyhow, so, so Theo, what yeah. made you start collecting and how long have you been at it? Well, I, I've been playing games since a kid, but being in the army, I had like a nostalgia boom, so I started collecting everything I found. Yeah. Well, and this is see, his friend? As you can see here, 
the whole collection extends, but is not limited to. They got for their part three remastered. Edition. This is probably the rarest thing in his whole collection. The rarest thing. <laughs> I mean, fuck this. <laughs> oh, this is his supportive that? friend, Yanis. Yes, well, my support is always a conscientious part. It is a stigmatizing presence within this confront. Oh, more, more bikers! More bikers! Get the bikers! Get them! <laughs> Got the bikers. Oh, and the guy in the truck. Because yeah. why not? Because why not? I hope you enjoyed that little view of what was going on in our gaming community. And now on to my pickups at that event. So uh, these I got in the trade. I gave away my uh, Uncharted Platinum, the first Uncharted game we have. Battle Tanks, Combat Assault, Machine Head. This is by Eidos, Eidos, however you pronounce it. So I have fairly high hopes for this game. Quake 2. This is a kind of a classic, so again, high hopes for this. And Grudge Warriors. Uh, of all these games, only this one is complete with manual, unfortunately. But I'm not complaining because it was a great deal. Uh, the, guy, the guy also threw in that Japanese Gran Turismo game for free because he's like, whatever, no one's going to get this, so here you go. Which was cool of him. Uh, next, ah, I traded some Pokemon figurines for this. The Sly Trilogy Classics HD. I've never played any of the Sly games as a kid, and I've heard they're awesome, so I'm looking forward to giving this a shot. And next, from the same guy that I got the NTSC PS1 games, I got a bunch of NTSC... PS2 games. Uh, these were dirt cheap because uh, very few people have a system capable of playing them. You either have to have a modded system like me or an NTSC console and we live in the PAL region. So from, for 10 euros I got Maximo vs Army of Zin, Dragon Rage, not the Pokemon move. This is by 3DO by the way, same people who made the original uh, Heroes of Might and Magic. Atari Anthology, which comes with 67 Atari 2600 games, including Gra Gravitar, Millipede, Super Breakout, Video Pinball, Yards Revenge, and Warlords. And 18 classic arcade games, including Asteroids, Battlezone, Centipede, Missile Command, Tempest, and more. Which is pretty awesome. It's, it's a good way for us newer gamers to experience the original classics. So you have Star Wars Super Bombad Racing. I just saw Chibi Darth Maul on the, on the cover, and I knew I just had to have a game with Chibi Darth, Darth Maul on the cover. I've never seen or heard of this before. I'm hoping this is a good choice. Next we have the first Monster Hunter, and this is going to be the first Monster Hunter I ever played. I, yes, I'm ashamed to say I've never played a Monster Hunter game before. I'm completely new to the series, and I guess the first game would be a good starting point. Next we have SOCOM US Navy SEALs Combined Assault. I played uh, SOCOM 4 on the PS3 and I absolutely loved it. And I heard great things about the PS2 games too, so I thought this was definitely worth a shot. Jack 3, a game I've been looking for for a while. Unfortunately, I do not have Jack 2. A uh, different guy was selling Jack 2 at the bazaar, but uh, this and the purchase behind this stack, I believe, were a better use of my money. Star Wars Battle Battlefront 2. Again, I'm a noob to the Battlefront series. I've heard great things about it and I look forward to trying this out. I think this is the only PAL game in that lot. Commandos 2, Men of Courage. I've never heard of it, but again, it's by Eidos or Eidos, so I'm guessing it's pretty okay, at least. Another collection game, Capcom Classics Collection. And this includes such games as Street Fighter 2, Ghosts and Goblins, Legendary Wings, Bionic Commando, Forgotten Worlds, Ghouls and Ghosts, Section Z, Final Fight, Sun Sun, Gunsmoke, X X's, Commando, Mercs, and 1942. And as you can see, at least one of these games is a shooter. And I absolutely love shooters. So this is also a great find. I think this doesn't come in its original jewel case. Or no, this... Then Atari must have been the one. Because I remember one of these games where it wasn't in its original Sony jewel case. So I'm going to have to find a replacement for that. Anyway, last game here is Tai 3, The Tasmanian Tiger, Knight of the Quinkin. It's a platformer by Activision. I remember people back during the PlayStation 2 era saying Tai games were pretty cool. So I'm going to give this a shot. 
And as you may have seen while I was moving the games around, here I have a Nintendo GameCube player, Game Boy player for the GameCube, complete with its disc thing. Uh, if you don't know what this is, essentially you hook this up underneath your GameCube, and here there's a slot that plays any Game Boy game. Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Original, Game Boy Color. So this is going to be really convenient for uh, recording Game Boy footage. I'm going to continue uh, recording emulator footage of Pokemon Yellow, because I can't be bothered to play through to the part where I've reached until now, but for, for the future, any Game Boy title I choose the Let's Play of, I'm going to record footage from my TV using this legitimately, and I am proud to say that. And I'm also proud of the fact that I got this for 20 euros. Uh, the guy wanted 25 and I bargained it down to 20, which was really nice of him to accept. So again, thank you, dude. And that is it for my finds so far. I am not expecting any future games this month, because I think I spent enough money already. For now, though, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next month for more. Cheers!